audio for today's video is not gonna be perfect because we are just here shooting randomly while uh, eating a lunch. Uh, it's Caesar salad, which is actually healthy because there is no carbs. I mean, there's croutons, but not gonna eat them. It's working hard on the body right now, so just like eating meat and salad. Actually, it's pretty easy. Before we get to the point of this video, which is gonna be uh, that why you're killing your sales, like the the, the, the the thing that you know makes you never be able to close a sale from uh, Upwork or Freelancer or Fiverr. There is like one thing, one problem that people have, and we're gonna answer that. But just like really quick updates uh, is that uh, how not to. Um, how not to have a problem with like building a good body or something you know I used to struggle with this with many videos I'm like hey I'm fat I'm trying to go to the gym and I can't do it and um, actually the thing that uh, worked out was uh, starting to make it more fun so for example like going to a nice rooftop and having a Caesar salad it's, it's, it's quite a fun experience and then it's not changing much of my habits because I do go out to eat in restaurants uh, pretty much every day so don't have to really like I'll change it to like a boring diet where I have to like cook at home by myself. It's actually like, you know, going to, to, to eat something cool or doing something interesting. And it's not changing that many habits. It's just changing a habit of what I'm ordering. I'm not ordering a burger as much as I used to. I'm ordering a salad. But just going same places, enjoying it in the same way, not learning how to cook, not changing 20 habits at the same time. So that's why it makes it easier. And then makes it making it more fun means like making it more interesting. Like for example, going out is really interesting, right? And you do go out. So you don't wanna change this habit of going out, but you wanna change a habit to exercise. So going to the gym is probably boring habit. Like it's something you have to like change a lot. Like it's a few habits actually like have to dress up or like gym clothes. So you have to, um, you know, uh, walk to the gym or commute there. You have to run on a treadmill. So those are like already three or four habits. Now, if you go to a club as you used to, like just as you used to, you, ha you used to be a drinker going to a club and uh, instead of just like standing there and hanging out with girls, you might as well just dance for two hours, like two hours, like jump, 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 jump. And then you're not changing your habits as much. You're just doing the same things. So you're just implementing one habit, which is like, all right, jumping while I'm there. And this makes it re really easy to change those habits. But it doesn't matter. This is not what the video is about. It's just a uh, cool update of uh, how I'm handling those habits because someone asked me about this. But it doesn't really matter. What's important is why are you killing those sales at the beginning? So uh, the guys are starting. My friend is starting with Upwork right now. And uh, I see how he's killing, literally killing with sales. Like he's not like, I mean, killing the, the sales, not, not killing sales. Like he is killing uh, sales in a bad way. Like he's not getting them. And why is that happening? Because trying to sell like all those guys are trying to sell I used to try to sell and this is not a proper hustle this is not the proper way to hustle like killing it like hey you have to buy from me no it's it doesn't work like all those, all those sales techniques all this stuff uh, it's like old school old school old school stuff where you go to like a car car dealership and then there, there's like this like you know cheesy weird sales person approaching and then you know that they're trying to sell you something and you know, automatically what happens is you turn on this, um, uh, like a block, like a mental block that says, I don't want to buy from this person because they try to sell something from me. So you're like right away against it, right away. So what you do instead is you have to reframe it. You have to reframe them thinking about you that you're a salesperson. So what does it mean to reframe something? Well, a frame is a subconscious uh, subconscious way of thinking that governs the whole situation. Subconscious, um, subconscious belief that governs the whole situation you're at. So, for example, if you're on a sales call, uh, a frame is a subconscious belief that governs the whole sale, sales calls. It's actually an NLP term, but don't worry about NLP. We're not doing any of these. It's just really, really applicable to what I'm trying to. Uh, to tell you today. So you have to change your frame from you being a cheesy salesperson from car dealership to being someone who is actually helping them. Because what do you think, what is a good example when you really want to buy something and you're not thinking about it? When you go somewhere and someone really wants to help you, you're like, yes, take my money. Thank you so much. You're trying to help me. Thank you. Take it. So what could be an example of this? What's an example? Think about this. Who is trying to help you and you really want to buy whatever they tell you to buy? 100% of times. A doctor, right? You go to a doctor 
100% of times a doctor is when it, when they tell you hey you have to stop drinking otherwise you gonna die in a month and you have to those you have to take those pills you, you have to buy those pills what you gonna do are you gonna be like no screw you screw your authority you're not trying to help me or you're gonna be like hey I'm gonna listen to everything you're telling me I'm gonna stop drinking I'm gonna take those pills of course you're listening to a doctor so this is the advice number one this is a mindset this is a mindset that you need to actually do sales and um, it's not sales anymore it's actually helping people so you need to start with that any sales techniques any you know mechanics are not gonna help you as long as your mindset is not handled so how to become a doctor so you know you understand like this is pretty self-explanatory and this is really obvious you understand that you want to be a doctor to your patients when you're selling something you probably agree with this because you know I have explained it pretty well I guess so you, you probably agree with it 99% chance you do but what you might be struggling with is to understand like how do I change my frame to a doctor frame so to change your frame to a doctor frame you need to change your beliefs so to change your beliefs you have to start thinking of yourself as a sneaky sleazy marketing person or whatever is out there in your mind you need to believe in the product you're selling and you need to make sure that you believe that this product is changing their lives so how do you do that first you have to think about what your beliefs are what is your limiting beliefs here like think about this for a second what's your limiting belief about sales of your product okay you have it you got it you have your one limiting belief that's the first one now think about is this belief really true is it true or is it not true I'm gonna give you an example um, believe a limiting belief could be hmm, uh, my product uh, is not gonna help them because I'm not qualified enough to help people um, now is it true Am I really not? How many people have I helped? You have to think about this rationally. Oh, I actually helped so many people already. Well, this is wrong belief. Now, is this belief right or wrong based on analysis of this belief? And then you're going to have to go through all of them to get in line, to be congruent with what you're selling. So this is very, very basic. It's mechanics. It's your inner game of sales, your inner game that you have to have handled before you start implementing any sales techniques so this is the first thing to start with when you start you know selling on Upwork on any platform and this is the most common mistake I mean, this is why most of the guys are not doing any sales at the beginning they're like hey um, those people don't want to buy from you of course they don't want to buy from you because you're not trying to help them it's not about you it's about them how much can you help them now if you be more empathetic and if you make sure that you're thinking how you can help them not how you can get their money then they will open their wallets because they will feel that because they're not retarded. So remember, like people are not retarded, especially people who are going to pay you twenty, thirty thousand dollars. They have money, meaning that in most of the cases they had to make this money in a smart way, meaning that they are not retarded. So they know and they feel whether you're trying to help them or whether you're trying to scam them. So you want to help them and you want to start being in line with this congruent belief that you can do that that you can help them and then giving more empathy towards helping them i hope it helps i hope it's gonna change your inner game a little bit thanks for watching this video i see you tomorrow click the subscribe button to see this kind of videos every day and add me on facebook if you have any questions thanks so much and i see you in tomorrow's video cheers